Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Stark Hub Review. Today, I'm going to do a really good review for, as you probably would have guessed it from my cover page and the title, it's the 2023 film Evil Dead Rise, written and directed by Lee Cronin, executive produced by Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell, and um, characters by Sam Raimi. Um, what can I say? It got released April the 21st, so this Friday, just gone. I saw it, I didn't see it on release day, but I saw it with my husband and two friends of ours, uh, really good friends of ours actually, uh, last night on Saturday, 22nd of April, and wow, what can I say? Evil Dead Rise, fucking amazing. Absolutely, hands down, balls to the walls, bloody, gory, insane, and just batshit fucking bonkers crazy. But before I get into my review, for anyone new to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in, and don't forget to click, to click like, subscribe, and the notification button to keep up to date with everything that um, I'm doing, and for all the returning viewers, thanks so much guys, uh, it means a lot to me, and thanks for your support too. Um, all right, let's get into it. What can I say about Lee Cronin's Evil Dead Rise, other than what you just heard? Absolutely, hands down, amazing. I can't praise this film enough. I am so glad that it didn't go to HBO Max and it went to cinemas instead, because, wow, this film deserved to be seen on the big screen. It, from start to finish, it hooked me in. It is fucking incredible. The cast are fucking incredible. The acting is insane. Uh, the script is insane. The way that it was shot and the way that um, it pays homage to uh, Fede Alvarez's 2013 version of Evil Dead and also paying tribute and respect to uh, Sam Raimi's originals. Um, and what can I say? It, 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 I had so much fun with this film. It kept me on the edge of my seat. Some, some of the scenes in this film are, are so fucking intense. Uh, nail biting intense. Uh, it just, it had some real camp moments in it as well, which paid homage to the originals, which I really, really liked as well. It was hands down fucking fantastic film. Um, so basically, Lee Cronin has injected his own take on the Evil Dead franchise and really made it, made this film his own while ex giving new life into the Evil Dead franchise. But in his own way. Um, what can I say for Day Alvarez's version? It is very, very well done. It's very, very bloody. I actually will put up on the screen. Um, I did a review for Fede Alvarez's uh, Evil Dead 2013 uh, movie, and that was hands down fucking fantastic. I absolutely loved Fede Alvarez's version over Sam Raimi's. I think that's one of the best remakes I've seen. Fede Alvarez made it his own. So, and Lee Cronin does exactly the same thing. Pays homage to 2013 Evil Dead and Sam Raimi's Evil Dead films from the 80s. Um, it's just, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Even the, the, there's quite a few Australians in it as well. I'm absolutely blown away by how many Australians are in this film. Um, so you've got Lily Sullivan, who plays Beth. She's from Australia. Alyssa Sutherland, who plays Elle, or Ellie. She's from Australia. Morgan Davies as Danny. Fucking fantastic actor. Um, he's from Australia as well. And I have to give props. Um, I didn't even know Morgan Davies was uh, a trans actor. <laughs> Fucking hands down. He played Danny extremely well. One of my favourite characters in the film. Absolutely fucking fantastic. And the introduction to uh, Cassie 
and she was played by Nell Fisher, the little girl in this film. Brilliant. And what a film. This, and this is her first film to be introduced to. So, you know, <laughs> that's even more bonkers. It's like, hands down, she, she went into, she went into a franchise <laughs> that is just full of blood and guts and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I, I have to say, hands props down to her because she did an amazing job as Cassie. It was just so well done. And this film is a culmination of, obviously, the Necronomicons in it and all of that. But the film itself is a meditation on motherhood, uh, what it's like to be a mother, um, with kids, uh, expecting mothers as well. So it's a meditation on upcoming motherhood, which Beth, um, Lily Sullivan's um, character, uh, has to navigate through um, all the stuff that they go through. She then has to take care of these kids and unexpectedly do what a mother would kick in motherly instincts and protect these kids at all cost. Um, and it's just, it's just balls to the walls, extremely nuts. It's, like I said, it's a med meditation on motherhood, upcoming motherhood. It's also, you could also say it's a meditation on responsibilities as well. Um, I, I would also say it's a very, it has very strong family values in it. Uh, so it's all based around family, which I absolutely loved as well. This film is unapo unapologetically in your face gory it is extremely intense wow some of the scenes i just couldn't believe it uh, lee cronin and the cast have done such a marvelous job of bringing you buckets of blood and gore and all that sort of stuff so it, it was a really well done film uh i, I, I you know it had from the starting of the film plays out really well and then when the title card comes up it's like wow what a introduction into this new film and then we're introduced to beth we're introduced to ellie danny uh, bridget uh gabriel uh gabrielle uh eccles plays bridget she's fucking fantastic as well props to her as well she did fantastic they all did fan um, fucking fantastic absolutely hands down fucking fantastic the whole lot of them but basically, it's um, two estranged sisters um, that try to survive. It's set in an apartment building as well um, in California. Um, and basically, the Necronomicon gets discovered, the Book of the Dead, um, and then all hell breaks loose in the apartment. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, I, you know, the what happens and all of that. Let's just say it's come out. I'm waiting for everyone else to enjoy the film and stuff like that. But basically the premise is Beth and her sister, uh, Elle are estranged. Uh, Beth goes to her and basically from there, it sets up the whole premise. Um, and then obviously you've got to navigate motherhood and, and you know, it's it just, it's absolutely nuts. This film did so well. Um, I hope this film does amazingly, which, um, from what I've heard so far, it's extremely well received. Uh, in its own right, this e Evil Dead Rise, Lee Cronin, fantastic job, cast, fantastic job, everyone. Uh, you know, even the way that it's shot pays homage to the originals, where the Deadites do that whole, you know, scouring this, you know, camera angle where we see them sloshing through a forest or you know, a highway or something like that to get to the person that they're going to possess and stuff like that. It's absolutely fantastic. It pays homage to the originals, the 2013 one, and then this one, Evil Dead Rise, being something completely new um, and basically being extremely brutal. Now, would I say it's more brutal than Fede Alvarez's version? Um, I'm a little on the fence on that. I mean... Fide, Fide Alvarez's version of Evil Dead, he, he went balls to the walls, extremely in your face gore. Um, it was very, very fucking intense. 
so much so uh, Evil Dead Rise is fucking intense as well. Some of the best fucking um, spe uh, special effects I've ever seen, um, but also practical. This film was more practical. So the special effects they used practically was absolutely fucking fantastic. And Fede Alvarez did exactly the same thing with, you know, being practical over CGI and all of that. This was intense. And so to compare the two, I'm, up, I'm a little bit up in the air because Evil Dead Rise was something completely different to Fede Alvarez's version. But they both had the same connectivity um, tissue, DNA as well, because I would say it is in the exact same league as Fede Alvarez's version. Um, but in terms of, like, extreme brutal gore, um, it's very hard at this stage to say which one comes out on top. Um, I mean, I really loved Fede Alvarez's version of Evil Dead because he made it his own, um, as Lee Cronin has made this his own, so I can't really decide. They're both fantastic films. Um, the rating that I give... Evil Dead Rise is definitely a 9.5 out of 10. It is absolutely fucking fantastic. I hope everyone enjoys this film, especially horror fans and fans of the originals and Fede Alvarez's version as well. I hope this does extremely well and that it goes on to a lot of success and then we get more films in this franchise because there's a lot more in this franchise yet. It's not dead in the water at all. And this just proves it. Uh, and if anyone's wondering, does Bruce Campbell make a cameo as Ash Williams? Uh, the answer is no, but he does make a cameo. But I won't spoil where his cameo comes in, but it is very genius how Lee Cronin stuck it in. Um, but I will definitely do another video focusing on uh, that uh, in the coming days um, about Bruce Campbell's uh, little cameo in it because I thought that was genius how uh, it f fits in with the film. But other than that, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll have some more videos out in the coming hours for you. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.